Jordan Zimmerman getting the start for the Nationals in game one of a doubleheader against the Twins. Top two, Zimmerman strikes out Justin Morneau swinging. Two batters later, Aaron Hicks goes down on strikes. And after that, Ryan Dozier follows suit. Kurt Suzuki completes the play to first base. And Zimmerman K's the side in the second. Scott Diamond getting the start for the Twins in game one. Bottom three, Jeff Coburn is at the plate for the Nationals. And he'll hit a slow bouncer to the left side and beat out the infield single for his first major league base hit. A nice moment for Coburn as you can save that baseball, but the Nationals do not score in the inning. Bottom four now, still scoreless. Two on one out for Ian Desmond. He'll bounce a single into left field. Jason Worth is coming home. Cleet Thomas comes up throwing, and his throw to home plate is in time. Worth is nailed at home plate for out number two, and that keeps the game scoreless. The next batter for Washington is Anthony Rendon. He'll hit a hot shot to shortstop. Pedro Flormo makes a great diving stop, but the throw to first base goes off the glove of Justin Morneau. Two runs score on the single and the E6, and Washington has a 2-0 lead. Bottom five, more Nats offense. The bases are juiced for Adam LaRoche, and LaRoche hits a hard ground ball to second base. Brian Dozier can't make the play. Everybody's safe on the single for LaRoche. It's 3-0 Nationals. And the next batter up for Washington is Ian Desmond. The other one one. Up the middle, base hit. One run will score. Rounding third, Jason Worth. He will score. And the Nats have a 5 nothing lead. That would spell the end of the day for Scott Diamond. Ryan Presley comes on in relief. And with two on and two outs, the first man he faces is Rendon. And Rendon loops a double into the right field corner. Two more runs come across. A career high three RBIs on the day for Rendon. It's 7 nothing Nats after a five run fifth. Top seven now. Zimmerman looks to cap off his day against Twins pinch hitter Chris Colabello. And a 7 nothing lead for Jordan Zimmerman. Blackout number eight. And it's a 1-2-3, and Zimmerman gets a standing ovation behind the Nats dugout. And a well-deserved one at that. Jordan Zimmerman's seven scoreless frames helped the Nationals to a 7-0 win. So Zimmerman improves his record to 9-3 on the season. He's tied for the Major League lead in wins with three other pitchers. His ERA down to just 2.0, and five different Nats come up with multi-hit efforts in this one, led by Ian Desmond, who goes 3-4 for four in Game 1 of a double dip.